Hi. Uh, Pandro makes it very easy to build layouts without copy-pasting example code from the documentation of various frameworks. And there are a couple of different ways to do it, so we can just choose whichever way suits us best. So on the left side we have a library panel with different elements that we can place on the page. In the middle is the page and on the right side is the tree which as we will see is very useful for uh, building layouts. So let's just take a, a row element and place it on the page. And you notice that couple of blue elements appear here in the library panel and th these are the elements which go together with the currently selected element. So we selected a row So and these are various column elements that we can place into the selected row by simply clicking on them. Or we right click and we can choose like the place where whether we want to prepend them or append them to the selected element. And you can see like whenever we put something on, on the page, the structure in the tree gets updated accordingly. Um, so the other buttons in, in library panel uh, they work by drag and drop, so we can just drop, drag image element and drop it into a column. And there it is. Um, or another way, if we need, if we prefer clicking, we can just right click the element and again we can choose where we want to put it in relation to the currently selected element. So let's put it at the beginning of column. And search bar is useful to find the elements because we, we have quite a lot. Let's take navigation bar and place it on the page. And you see again we got like blue blue buttons that help us to quickly insert various navigation uh, bar elements into the selected bar. Or we can also use actions panel and there we get the same selection of elements to insert into the navigation bar or other elements. Um, okay, so let's we, we added a drop down. So if we want to test it to open it uh, because if we just click it will it will get selected. But if we select test clicks, or even better, just press shift and click, then it, the drop down will open. Um, and if we select the drop down menu, again we get like shortcuts to easily insert elements into it. And another way how we can add elements to the page is by using the tree. So this gives us the best control over the placement of elements. So if I can take the image and I don't drag it on the page, I drag it to the tree to the exact place uh, where I want to put it. And also with the elements which are already on the page, we can use the tree to put them into a different location. So the tree is really useful when we need a precise control over the placement of elements. So, okay, so much about this. We can move on in our next tutorial.